You want your email list. But I wouldn't stop there because I would want to cross promote from different channels, especially now with uh, obviously Facebook, Instagram, and so on. And then creating the custom audiences on Facebook, you can even go another layer there. So as far as like what you're going to promote, if you already have you know your facility, you know down, you know you know where it is, you know you have an anticipated time of when you're going to open, all that stuff. Then you know our six month giveaway is always a good one. And um, I think I've done a ton of videos t showing you how to run a six month giveaway, but running this promotion is because. Now you're getting people that are interested in actually coming in. You know when you're going to start. You're going to give away like a thousand dollar membership, pretty much, or twelve, fourteen hundred, depending on how much you charge. And you're going to get a ton of opt-ins that way. Um, three months might be a long time for them to have to wait. So uh, what I would probably do is in three months is a long time to wait. Plus, if you don't know like where your location is actually going to be, is just start putting out good fitness content. Um, just create a fan page um, and uh, just start. Putting out any opt-ins that you do have, I would just put in, put in there on the fan page for goodwill. Maybe have a message you create your messenger list, and then the second one you can send them to like a squeeze page, create the the email list. But one thing that worked really well for me is you want to um, make it more mission based. So six months of work as you get closer, and if you know where your location is. But if you don't know where your location is going to be, make it make it more uh, mission based. One thing that I did, I think it was like 2011, that worked really well is I saw an article that Men's Health put out that said Baltimore was, I think it was like number eight in the top ten fattest cities in the U.S. So I created uh, pretty much a mission that I made it my mission to get Baltimore out of the top 10 fattest cities and I couldn't do it alone. So that was the reason why I was putting out the content. That's the reason why I created my uh, at-home workout program that I gave away as an opt-in uh, for them you know, to opt into. And I showed them you know, uh, the Men's Health article. So it wasn't me saying it, it was like another notable you know, company or brand like Men's Health that said Baltimore is number eight you know, in the US. And everybody who lives in Baltimore is gonna see that and be like, oh, I can't believe we're one of the you know, fattest cities and something they can really get behind and rally behind. So create a mission, make it mission based. Just Google like your city and you know, um, the obese like stats or uh, you know, how fit is your city kind of thing and see what kind of articles pop up and uh, try to grab something that, you know, is that somebody that has like a pretty notable, you know, pretty famous brand like a men's health or something that says something bad about your city that you can be, that you can fight against. It makes it easy not only for people to get behind you, but also for other businesses and stuff to, to help out with that mission. And uh, then create your assets that you're going to give away to help with this. Like, I this is my mission. This is what I want to do by when. I can't do it alone. So um, you're going to create some programs. It could be, since you don't have your gym yet, like I did, I did like an at-home workout program. And this worked out great. Like, I actually got on the radio because of this mission. And they were just talking about the mission, talking about the article that I found, and, and I made that. And, they, and I made a DVD, you know, it was a Fit Body at Home workout DVD that I was giving away for free, just cover my cost of shipping. And you don't have to go that far to actually create a physical product, it can just be a PDF. But I, wasn't even, I went there not even planning on like pitching like the free DVD. But they asked me, like, I was like, obviously I can't train everybody in my gym, so that's why I created my at-home program. And then they were like, well, how can everybody get it? So I was able to tell them, you know, the website. And by the time I got home, I already had over 100 orders for the DVD. So it's pretty powerful, uh, pretty powerful stuff. I was just going to talk about the mission, talk about my actual gym. I wasn't going, I wasn't trying to pitch anything. Um, but they actually asked about it, and I was able to plug that. And by the time on the drive from the radio station back to my studio, when I got there and checked I had over a hundred orders you know for the DVD and I gave the DVD, the DVD away for free and it was like $5.95 for shipping and handling and that covered all my costs so really it was a free you know it was a free lead we had their name their contact information like their address their phone number so we called them up and we thanked them for joining our mission of getting Baltimore out of the top 10 fattest cities we let them know that their DVD is, uh, is on the way but we didn't want them to have to wait until the DVD got there in three or four days to get started we to invite them in for a free session, take them through a workout so we could show them the proper form and everything on the exercises. So when the DVD came in the mail, they could hit the ground running with the program and have the confidence to, you know, to go all in on it. 
they would come in for the free session and then um, afterwards we would talk to them about their diet and nutrition and we told them um, if they were interested uh, these are their options that they wanted to continue and if they pick which one they'd want to be on we give them a free week so they could come in for the entire week try it out make sure it's a good fit for them and we upsold them that way and that was a great funnel but just for list building creating you know because this person isn't going to be there you know for three months creating a mission-based uh, uh, program and then give it away and just do your list building that way create the fan page and then by the time you get there I would say a month out that's when you're going to run the six month membership you know giveaway and if you're uh, in the lab I think we have it in there somewhere um, all the different steps and videos uh, explaining how to run the six month giveaway but that's how I would create my audience my email list my following before I got there I want to set myself up as the authority I want to get people to know like and trust me I want to create a mission that everybody can feel good about get, you know getting behind so that way I'm coming in I'm coming back what I would say probably is like hey I created this program for you to do and on top of that I'm actually moving back to my hometown to take care of this problem so that way you're coming in as like this community person you know you're gonna start it off like a charity boot camp or something something some kind of big grand opening and you already have these people behind you to give you that big you know push when you know right out right out of the gate you know I've seen people run something similar with their six months just on a new location not even doing the mission based part and have a hundred people you know already signed up ready ready to go and their doors open so um, stick with that just keep building your email list try to cross promote get them on your messenger list uh, get them on you know when you're creating that fan page with a lot of content you're already creating an engagement uh, custom audience so when you do go to run ads once you move back you already have people there that it's a warm audience not just a cold audience and uh, do that and you'll have more than enough people to fill up your gym from day one